another vlog this vlog is probably going to be kind of chaotic because it is the day before i leave for my england trip and i have so much to do today unexpectedly <laughs> and it's all good everything is good i've just got like appointments and random things to do and you know packing hiccups to solve we'll get into all of it but first i'm actually getting ready to do like a very quick main channel filming session i got a really cool opportunity for a sponsored segment for a video and it actually fits perfectly into a video that like is already gonna go up on my channel. I'm gonna film that really quickly and then at 11 a.m. which it's like 9 30 right now so I'm kind of getting it close. I have to leave in like an hour. At 11 a.m. I have my first brow lamination appointment since moving to LA. I don't think I've gotten my brows done since like May or maybe it was June but either way it's been too long. I am so excited to have these brows done up. I wanted to start getting it done regularly again anyway just because I like I mean, this is my brows. Like, it looks like my main channel video from earlier this week or last week where I literally tried to like pretend to bleach my eyebrows with concealer, but it just looks like that on its own. <laughs> Anyways, these brows need some help, so I'm doing that. And then I'm actually getting my nails refreshed. I go over three weeks to get my nails done anyways um, since I've started getting the Gel X. So I've got to refresh those before my trip. And then we've got some like random errands to run. I need to get a bigger suitcase. Um, I started packing last night, kind of went into a little bit of a frenzy. <laughs> if you have ADHD, you understand. Like packing is my worst nightmare. I'm so bad at it. I stress out so badly. I start one thing and then I'm like, oh, that reminds me of that sweater that I need to pull out of storage. And then I'll go grab that and I'm like, oh, I should start a little laundry. And then I go start that and then I'm like, oh, I left the light on in the kitchen. And then I'll go into the kitchen and be like, oh, I need to make a snack. That's literally how my brain works. It's just really hard for me to pack. Like, I don't know. It's just very difficult for me to like streamline things and get them done. And you all have explained to me that that's called executive dysfunction. Um, yeah, that's definitely a thing for me. I'm gonna finish getting ready. We're gonna film this and then we're just gonna girl boss this day. <laughs> the best we possibly can. We're gonna get through this together, besties. We got this. We've gotten change. It is 9.54. I have about 25 minutes to film this. I know I can do it. I believe in myself. I've gotten like a random outfit thrown on. This room, I just need to show you the state of this room. This is what we are currently working with. <laughs> Oh yeah, cute. There's a lot, there's a lot going on. But what I'm wearing currently is this cute little outfit. I got the inspiration on Pinterest. This belt is like a little big, but whatever, we'll go with it. Um, this tank top is from Abercrombie, I wanna say. These trousers are from ASOS. They're a little bit big on me, but I kinda do like the oversized look and then I'll probably throw on some black Converse. I don't really know why I'm vlogging right now when I need to be filming, so let's do this. I actually just realized that I'm getting a pedicure so I can't wear like trousers. I need to wear either like bike shorts and like a tank top or like a big tee or something. Like I need to be comfy comfy today. So that's actually gonna be the new game plan. Let's rearrange. Okay, so um, we've had quite the costume change happening here. I just threw on these Lululemon bike shorts with like my fuzzy slides because they're easy to get on and off during a pedicure and then like my giant t-shirt. Um, that's my outfit for today, so whatever. As a time update is currently 10 18 so I'm actually thriving like I can't believe I got that done so fast because I did extra work this morning and like this is something I probably could be better about doing when I'm like filming main channel video content is instead of like winging it and turning on the camera and being like 
blah, 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 and then messing up and needing to start over, like writing out the bullet points that I want to cover, and then like sort of trying to do that and like do it in my own words, you know? That was much more helpful, so I might have to do that in the future, but anyways. We're going to get ready to hit the road. I actually, well, I have some glasses to drive in. I've gotten to that point where I need to drive with my glasses, and if you ever see me driving without my glasses, please yell at me. I actually just switched purses to this really cute little purse, and it's like a pretty decent size, but it's crossbody. It's smaller than my other one, because my other one is just like way too bulky and big, and I thought it'd be good for London, because whether I wear black or brown, it would match. So, okay. I somehow cannot believe that I got finished with time to spare, but let's head off and um, do something with these brows. my brows look like they're looking so much better Ooh, they're definitely like darker than they're gonna be because of the tint but i have about an hour in between my appointments so i stopped at this coffee shop that was right next door it was called andante i believe it's called i got a decaf iced oat milk latte let's take a sip really tasty really really tasty i've noticed that a lot of um, like coffee shop coffee tastes like normal coffee to me again. If you didn't know I have parosmia which is like a long-term taste and smell affecting side effect of COVID. I had COVID almost a year ago and I'm still not doing great but one of my biggest things is coffee like my coffee at home my Nespresso pods taste like trash but like coffee from coffee shops is starting to taste normal again so I'm excited about that. That's actually so good. Oh my god. So I'm gonna run to Target because I need to get a bigger suitcase. I think I mentioned that earlier. Let's do a quick Target run. I have one hour. I think we're gonna do it in the nick of time. So let's go. Okay, back in the car. That was actually super chaotic because I got a FaceTime and I was like trying to FaceTime and like get stuff at the same time. But I did manage to get a suitcase secured the bag and now I'm headed to get my nails done get a little refresh I loved this really cute sort of like checkered white fun neutral moment however I'm ready for fall so I think I might do something a little warmer a little darker hopefully by the next time you see me I will have some very cute fall nails Just finished at the nail salon. It's like almost two hours later and I'm tired. I, it's been a very productive day, but like my social battery is absolutely drained. Um, so I'm gonna head home, probably kick back for a little bit, but I'm feeling nice and refreshed. I mean, I got my hair done in the last vlog, got my brows done, got my nails done. I'm like ready for fall and I'm ready for England. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. It's now like 6.30 p.m. I've eaten dinner, played a little bit of Animal Crossing, and of course, changed into a onesie. Thought I would show you the stuff that I got at Target. Obviously, you're gonna have to watch the main channel video to like see everything. And also, this is stuff that I got for my friend Jasmine who lives in the UK, who we do like candy swap videos all the time, and like she's also gonna do some food. And this is like our fourth or fifth time doing it, so like we're running out of options, but I thought I would show you what I got regardless. I'm not gonna show you everything, but like some of of them sour gummy worms bright crawler that I got a rice crispy treat a classic American staple got some nerd I thought these were nerd clusters but they're just nerds dang it okay well whatever that works got some s'mores we had to get dunkaroos obviously dunkaroos were like such a part of my childhood I found these at a gas station by the way <laughs> got some goldfish I can't remember if I've given her goldfish or not but like whatever she's gonna be making s'mores the chocolate melted so it's in the fridge we got laffy taffy we got hot tamales sweet heart roast Raisinets, not my favorite, but I thought that they'd be like a good thing to try. A blow pop, mac and cheese, and then yeah, there's like a couple more things, but that's kind of the gist of it. And I actually wanted to try, because if you saw 
Was it my last vlog? I don't even know. I got the sour Scandinavian swimmers, which are like a different flavored Swedish fish. And I saw someone on TikTok say that if you freeze them, they're really delicious. So I put some in the freezer yesterday and I totally forgot about them. Drew tried them. Oh, they feel so cold. Here's what they look like frozen. I mean, they look exactly the same. Drew tried them earlier today when I was gone and he said it was weird. I'm gonna try my favorite color, which is pink. I can't chew it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna lose a tooth if I do that. Why is this so difficult for me? That's really weird and I don't like it. These are rock hard. Maybe I was only supposed to put them in the freezer for like a short time. I would break a tooth if I tried to eat that. Okay, well, never mind. That was a fail. Mm -mm. I'm just waiting on my Instacart order to get delivered because I did have to order like a couple more things for Jasmine and just like a couple things that I forgot. Um, but we've been watching, oh my God, I haven't even talked about this yet. We've been watching The Junior Bake Off on Netflix and it is maybe the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I say that with my whole heart. It's like my new favorite show. I can't get enough of it. We even like watched it, like binged it on the weekend. And usually the Bake Off is like something we watch, you know, when we're like having our morning coffee or eating dinner or something. No, we just like straight up binged it this weekend. It's so good. It's so funny. I love all of those kids so much. I've genuinely genuinely like cried, I've laughed. It's just like so much fun. And those kids are so chaotic and it just makes it so funny. There's like so much spilling and disasters and messes and mix ups and like, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. So if you're a fan of the Great British Bake Off, I would definitely check out the Junior Bake Off and just enjoy. It was seriously such a delight. We're almost done. I guess we're not done yet. So we still have like a couple left, but oh my God, it's like the best thing ever. It's so freaking precious. Why am I like reaching for these to have more? Maybe if I just let them sit out for a little bit. Yeah, no, I'll just eat the regular ones. Okay, I need to walk away. We'll reconvene later. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that I am flying back to England tomorrow. That is so crazy. I have so much to do. I don't wanna think about it. Tomorrow's gonna be like a really busy day for me um, and my flight doesn't leave until like 10 p.m. So I'm going to just like take the rest of this time off camera. This might be like a little bit of a shorter vlog today. I'm not sure. Um, if it is, I'm sorry, but it just kind of is what it is. Better something than nothing, I suppose. But I'm so excited. Alexa and I are both so excited. It's gonna be just so fun to be back there together, all three of us, for the first time since 2019. I literally can't wait. It's been like over two and a half years now. So it's time. I'm like feeling really just ready and excited. I do feel a little anxious about the flight. For those of you who don't know, I have like a lot of flight anxiety, but I feel like I'm a little more prepared than I was yesterday. And like, I think the nerves will definitely kick in tomorrow, but like so far I actually feel pretty good. I'm not gonna lie though. I did consider paying an exorbitant amount of money to like upgrade to a first class seat so I could lay down, but anyway. <laughs> also, we just finished the Junior Bake Off. I know I was talking about it earlier, but I have to talk about it again. It was so good. I literally cried. Like, it was so, so good. Oh, I could not recommend that show enough. Like, so heartwarming. I laughed, I cried, I yelled at my TV. It was honestly iconic. I love it so much. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I'm gonna go head off to bed. I just downloaded, like, four new books to my Kindle. I don't know how much reading I'm gonna do, like, when I'm there or on the plane, because it is, like, a red-eye flight, but we'll just see. We'll see how I feel, you know, see how relaxed I am, etc. How much I'm able to sleep, but ugh. I'm just so excited that the next vlog you all see will be me traveling to England. I can't wait. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you in the next vlog.